All right, in this lesson, we're going to move from theory to some theory and some practical application. And we're going to talk about bookmarks. Okay, so what happens when a non-clustered index is useful to quickly find one or more records, but doesn't cover the entire query? In this case, the query optimizer has to decide to both use the non-clustered index to find these records quickly and access the base table to obtain the additional fields, or just go straight to the base table and scan it to get the additional information. This particular operation is one we're going to see a lot, and it is called a bookmark lookup. And it's performed by a key lookup operator, which was introduced specifically to differentiate a bookmark lookup from a regular clustered index seek. All right, let's take a look at this. So we can see we have the show plan for this. Let's just go ahead and get the plan. Display the executed plan, and here we have our plan. So in this operator, the index seek, we are efficiently retrieving the columns we need. Let's hover over our operator and look at the tooltip. So we can see what the object we're using. And over on the left-hand side, you can see under the indexes, we're using the AK contact type name. And if we look at the output list, we see contact type ID and we see name. All right. So that is the efficient part. Now let's move down to the key lookup or the inefficient part. All right, we can see here that we're using the clustered index, right? Look at the object there, PK contact type, contact type ID, right? To get the output list, in this case, the modified date, All right? And you can see in the output list, there is the modified date. So what do we do to get it all into one operator? I wanna get this modified date down there into this index seat. So how do we go about doing that? Well, we need to create an index called a covering index. And what that does is cover up the entire query, right? Name, modified date, and the contact type. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's come down and right click in new, non-clustered index, NCIDX, 120, 2016, underscore, blah. And now let's add, right? There are only three columns in the entire table, right? That makes it easy for us. So let's add the contact type. Nope, let's not add. Let's add the name, right? In, in order, name. I want to add name, and I want to add modified date. Select name, select modified date. Okay, great. I want it in that, oh, what happened? Select name, I want modified date. All right, there we go. And I want it in this order. And you can see we have the ability to move up or down. All right, since it is in this order, that's the order I want it. Select name, modified date, name, modified date. Now, I want to include some columns and I want to include the contact type ID. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So you can see we're getting ready to cover up the entire query, the entire table, with one index. Let's go ahead and create that. So let's come up here and display our estimated execution plan. You'll see that we have an index seek. Now we are using the index we just created, right? And CIDX, you can see it there in the object list to efficiently retrieve all the columns. So that is how we resolve bookmark or RID lookups.